Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a test of the Mountaintop Electronics single tube Russian GI7B amplifier. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the amplifier. First, I'd like to give you my quote for today. Be careful in judging things by their appearances. Sugar and salt look the same. That applies to everything in life, especially amplifiers. Remember that everybody is using the same boxes from the same place, but believe me, all the boxes are different. So, why do you want to buy this amplifier? This is a single GI7B. It uses one of those little Russian surplus tubes. They're about 30 bucks a piece on eBay. A 3500Z for comparison is $265 at the filming of this. So, these tubes give you 700 watts or so, 600 watts. Um, I've seen up to 750 for $30, you know, shipped to your door. That's pretty dang reasonable, you know. Um, if I bought one of these boxes, go on eBay, buy 10 tubes. Who cares? Throw them in your closet. They're not going to go bad on you. Um, they're all Russian surplus. I mean, at some point, I got to imagine they're going to dry up, but they're still out there in quantity on eBay. Um, the other thing is, I'm trying to save you guys money and give you a better product at the same time. So this amplifier, if you notice, does not have any meters on it. You do not have a plate voltage or plate current meter. But I gave you the value back in the box because you have a 300 milliamp continuous duty power supply. Um, you have auto start, so you do not have to set a timer when you turn the filament on to let the box warm up. You just turn the box on, that red light will come on after three minutes and turn the high voltage on automatically. You don't have to do anything about it. You also have sockets. Yes, so if you have a tube failure or for whatever reason you need to replace the tube, after you discharge the supply, you just grab the tube and pull it out, pop a new tube in, you're done. You don't have to go underneath and monkey around with nuts and bolts and fasteners and things. Um, I cannot express how important that is in this, in this tube, Russian tube world. I mean, nobody uses sockets, and I'm giving you guys sockets. It has forced air cooling like a big boy box. It's got a blower in the bottom blowing up, blows through the tube, cools everything, blows out the top. It's not that loud. Plugs into the wall, 110 volts. Simple connection, in and out, ground power cord. Simple amplifier, fixed tuned input. All you need to do is touch the tune and load, and you're done. That's it. Very simple amplifiers. Um, this is a fantastic driver. Um, you can get your, you know, 600 watts, your 700 watts, whatever out of it. And you can, you know, use it for your big box. You can make this your big box. Just a great amplifier. Um, you don't need to drive the amplifier to full tilt all the time. I recommend 70 to 80 watts to drive this amplifier to its output of like 600 and something watts. Um, you, you put 100 in, you'll get like 7 something but you don't really need to do that. If you ran this with, you know, a 25 watt radio, you'll probably get 400 watts out of it. So you can run this however you like, but, um, you know, it's, it gives you a lot of flexibility is what I'm trying to say. So um, I like these amplifiers so much that I built four of them. I've got four of these in stock, ready to go, built brand new tubes with sockets, plug the tubes right in, ready to go. You can't beat them. All right, so let's get on with the test. Uh, first things first, amplifier's on, it's in standby. Uh, let's look at the drive we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and swap to the 250 watt slim. And we're in PEP on a Bird 43P. And we're gonna look at the carrier. So we're like 15 watt carrier, something like that. That's just a 15 watt carrier. PEP, that's with the tone. So instead of hearing me say audio, you just, we have a tone going through it, okay? The tone is giving us around 80 watts PEP. I'm using a one pill to drive it. Okay, we're gonna switch back to the 1000 watt slug. Put the box into AM. Okay, 1000 watt slug. And we are at, let's load this thing a little better. Ooh, 
little over 600 and something watts, 620, something like that. Right there. How can you beat it? You've got a forced cooling steel tube from Russia, over 600 watts PEP with about 80 watts of drive. Um, if you increase the amount of drive, let's say you put 100 in, you can get a little more, you can get a little less. Just depends on what you want to do with it. But that is single tube GI7B or GI6B. Again, it's got sockets, people. Very important thing to remember. That makes your life easier if you ever need to change tubes. It's got a continuous duty power supply. It's got auto start. It's got true forced air cooling. Plug in the wall to any old outlet. It only takes like seven amps peak to run this thing. Uh, very low filament consumption these boxes. Blows right out the top, not even warm yet. These are a thousand bucks a piece. I'll ship them anywhere. I'll throw them in a UPS box and send them right to your door. You got four of them ready to go right now. Thousand bucks a piece. Thanks for watching.